this bad. All right, so last time on Idiot in the Garage, I got the uh, charge pipes all welded up, finished the hot side. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys the bumper back on it. Uh, it's not bolted down or anything, it's just kind of pushed in because I was making the down pipe. But this time, we are working on the inside of the car. Ooh, ah, stock 1995 Ford. This is the peak of automotive interior. Don't let anybody with like any Maybox or Roll Royces or, or Aston Martins tell you otherwise. This is what everybody's after. This big gappy plastic, if you touch it too hard, it's going to break. Goodness. Uh, but we're going to focus our attention to the center console here today because we are getting a shifter installed. Now, if you remember, this has a two-speed power glide. I don't know why people insist on saying two-speed power glide. Anyway, let me show you our bolt action of choice here. Now, it might be in a bowel movement box, but don't let that fool you. We got ourselves a genuine Hurst. This is a good old fashioned quarter stick. I got this used from a neighbor. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It was like 100 bucks or something like that. I don't know. But he had it uh, behind a Turbo 350. Now the thing that's nice about these uh, Hurst is they've got, you can't really see it in there, but on the gate, let me see if the instructions show you. Oh, this is for the BNM. I'm an idiot. All right, never mind. Well, on the uh, Hurst three-speed gates, there's a little uh, thing you can put there, like a little tab basically you can bolt in place to make it a two-speed. Works great. That's what I had to do on the RX-7. The only difference between this and the RX-7 is that it had a different handle. It had the uh, pistol grip handle with the button on top. This is the old school ball type. We love our balls around here. I initially got this, I was gonna use it in the Chevelle because I was putting uh, the three-speed back in that. I ended up trading the three-speed for this power glide with a brake. So, pulled it apart, put the little deal in there that, you, again, you're not gonna be able to see it. Maybe I'll put a picture up if I'm feeling really ambitious, but don't count on it. It already has the arm on the transmission. So I might just need to come up with uh, the bracket to bolt to the pan, which I don't know, maybe that won't work. I haven't looked at all yet. Uh, I'd wager that it would. Those are both B&M boxes. So probably won't be able to use the brackets out of there. B&M and Hearst, their stuff is very similar, but just, just a hair different enough to where you usually can't use one on the other. Like for the Hearst here, it has, you slide this in and then you've got, you're gonna stay, you're gonna play nice. You're not going to. So you slide the cable in between those two little forks and then you kind of wedge this in place and that holds everything from coming loose. On the B&M cables, those are usually, um, they have a nut that screws on. Yeah, so you can see there how it has the two nuts that clamp together. That's how you can pretty quickly tell the difference between Hurst and B&M. Now, because I don't know everything, I don't know if that's like a completely generational thing or if it's more recent, but every one of their shifters that I've personally dealt with has always been that way. Moving back to our office here, we need to get this whole center console all torn apart, which I think is like a handful of screws. And then I've got a decision to make. Do we want to put the shifter here in the stock location or back here, like in the ashtray? Yeah, it's got a remote for the stereo that's taken up. Or do I want to put it back here in the ashtray, which is a little bit more ergonomic. Uh, it is a, a tad bit more of a reach, maybe not for when you're back in gear, because it'll probably be in this neighborhood. I gotta stop doing this motion on camera, it's gonna get me in trouble. Hey! Easier than we expected. Let's go. Alright, so, screw, screw, there's probably one under the ashtray. Nope, put that back. Uh, and then there's gotta be some down in here, right? So I'm gonna get the center console torn out, we'll get the stock shifter pulled out, and then we'll see what we gotta start throwing together to get this thing on the car, or in the car. Yeah. 
found a note, a love note. What's this say? Ooh, it is a note. Uh, Neo sauce, large inserts plus med. Okay, that's a recipe for crack. So yeah, we will get this shifter out. I'm gonna have to lift the car up. We'll get the shifter unbolted and everything from underneath, and then we'll drop back down, resume our position here, and figure out where we want to set things. Pinched the fuck out of my finger. Jesus Christ! Oh, let me just do it again real quick. Oh, what a quick, sharp pinch! There we go. Now we can. So close. There we go. Nice and gentle. You gotta make sure you're nice and gentle so you don't break anything that you might need down the road. When you get the shifter, we're also gonna have to drill a hole for the cable, wherever that's gonna wanna go through. If we were to put the shifter back here, one, that'd make the install as far as like the cable and everything a lot easier. Where the uh, stock shifter went, we can make a little panel for some switches because odds are we'll need something, switches or buttons or something. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna test fit some stuff and I'll let you guys know what I come up with. All right, so I think I'm gonna put it right here where the ashtray is. Because, like, to get it up here where it needs to go, it's just kind of awkward, and I don't know. I think it would just be easier to put it right here. I can make a plate out of some ABS that I think I still have to seal that up. And then down the road, or at some point, I can make a plate for whatever switches or anything I need. Or we could just make that a cup holder, to be honest. I know that there's the one cup holder like in the console back here that flips up. But, you know, just... Just, uh... Things to think about. But yeah, I think I want it right here. But I do really like the idea of it being all factory looking. But I think I'm going to put it here. I need to take some measurements uh, of everything. And then we'll zip this thing down. We should be good to go. Start whipping things up and throwing it back together. All right, whipped up this little plastic plate real quick just to keep this sealed. Uh, I've got some of that high density sticky back foam that I'll lay on the underside when I'm finishing up to seal it up. But we're still in the mock-up phase right now. You know, we're still dating to see if we want to get married, right? We don't know if we're ready to settle down yet. We're just giving some smooches. Yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Uh, I took some measurements from the center line of the uh, e-brake to where the pre-cut section of the ashtray is. is about five inches, which we're at about four and three quarter, give or take right now so we should be able to use that natural line to kind of blend things in which would be tight yeah I think that's gonna work out really well I think we just send this I'll pull this out get some of that foam down so we can screw that plate down or that panel down I guess and then that's all done uh, we'll get the shifter screwed down that's all done and then we can start mounting our center console back up and get that all cut out so that it looks, you know, pretty decent. So, 
surprisingly securely mounted. First, second, neutral, reverse, park. It feels real nice and solid. So now, I can pull this back off. golf ball over there and now we can start putting the center console back in which means I want to take even more measurements it looks like I might not have to cut a whole lot out actually based off this so I'll just have to knock the uh, ashtray and everything out of it cut this section out and then we're probably good like I said down the road we can make some sort of plate deal for whatever we want to put here. All right, got all the ashtray stuff cut out, dremeled a bunch of it so that it's relatively nice and smooth. So now we can start test fitting and see how much more needs to get cut out. Because I'm sure there's going to be a lot under here. So a bunch over here. I'm sure all of that. Alright, got everything just sitting in place, but that's looking pretty darn good. I can trim a little bit more back on this corner. Uh, just to make it a little bit happier because it's kind of resting on it right now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then like I said, we'll put like a switch panel or a cup holder or something up there. We got plenty of room to make something. We shouldn't need a whole lot of switches. So I do like the cup holder idea, because <laughs> this is supposed to be a street car. So I'm going to pull it back out. I'll dremel that one corner a little bit more to give it a little bit more clearance. That way it's not pushing on it so hard. Uh, and then we'll lift the car up. I'll get the shift cable hooked up. I'll show you guys how I like to adjust the uh, shift cables. It makes it real easy, especially by yourself. And then we're pretty much done. And then once you at this point, just adjust this so that in neutral, it slides in and out very easily. Like that's pretty good. Might go one more, see how that is. Can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's probably better. And then we'll lock that down, put the pin through it, and we're set. We'll run it through the gears to check everything. But uh, yeah, and then from here, I'll throw the shifter in park, pull it out, make sure that the uh, arm is fully engaged in park, if it is, put it back in, go all the way down to first, make sure it's fully engaged in first, and then put the pin in it and call it a day. But yeah, pretty easy. Pretty simple, turned out pretty good. So, all things considered, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, didn't have to like really cut a big section out of the center console, so that's cool. Just basically had to pull the uh, ashtray lid off and then dremel the corners out. Looks pretty decent. I think it'll be nice once we get something made to cover that hole. Like I said, either like a small switch panel or a cup holder or something. I do like the idea of a, an extra cup holder because the one in the center console for these sucks. It's flimsy. There's no bottom to it. Um, it'd be cool to have a good one there. You know, full streetcar stuff. But that is going to do it for today. Got the shifter installed. One more thing knocked out on the car. And now we're basically, I just need to order some more parts for it. So I think in the next video, I might tackle the uh, front suspension on the 55. Because I've been thinking about that for a couple days. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Clicking that bell to get notifications. I'll see you next time.